Hello viewers! My name is Aaron, we're back with more Tekken 5 on the good old PlayStation 2. Time for a story battle with another Kazama. The King of Iron Fist Tournament 5. So we have used Asuka several ages ago, but today it's time to use the main protagonist here in Tekken 5. Jin Kazama. The regular Kazama Jin. Jin Kazama, a child of destiny. After fighting Kazuya and Heihachi, an evil spirit welled up within Jin. We all remember those black wings that sprouted out of his back at the end of the last tournament. Awakened by an unknown voice, Jin looked around at a forest completely destroyed, and he knew he was the one who did it. Don't tell Julia Chang about this. She will be pissed. Returning to Yakushima, Jin was plagued by nightmares, triggering the Devil Gene. If this keeps eating away at me, I don't know how long I can hold on, says Jin. Jin sets out on a journey to end this evil, with destiny as his only guide. And so begins the Tekken Devil Within for Devil Jin Get ready for in the, the translation round. of regular Tekken 5 gameplay. It's the intellectual metrosexual Jin Kazama. And Brian Furry begins the action with his laugh. Brilliant. Let's start with a very good move from Jin Kazama there while standing too. Good launcher. Gets your opponent over to the wall. And then you can do a couple of moves from the wall or at the wall from Jin Kazama. There's also another combo that you can do off of launchers such as wall standing two, like this one. End it off with down back two, two, one, three. Is it, right? No, it's, okay, there we go, yeah. Never mind. it is down back two, two, three. That's how you do it, okay. I had to remind myself about how that notation went here for a second, but now that I know, we can showcase that combo once more, only this time off of a hot kick. Here we go. There you go. So I forget how much damage that really is. It looks about 45. So it's not too much, but it's something. And Feng Wei is going to get his ass worked in this way. That's one round. Another one of Jin's bread and butters in this game is 2-1. Best used as a poke right here, like so. It's not as powerful as it was in Tekken 4. But it's still very, very good. And another good option to have at any situation is the down four there from Jin Kazama. Finishes off Feng Wei. And the intellectual metrosexual is on fire. <laughs> because uh, uh, the hairstyle, it's called something metrosexual in the customization. Trust me, look at him if you didn't know already. But yeah, and then I put the glasses on him, so that's the joke of the channel so far. It is Kazama Jin, the intellectual metrosexual. <laughs> and he will kick your ass. And he will do it like a surgeon. He's intelligent, after all. He knows his way around every single fighting style in the history of the planet Earth. No style can confuse Kazuma Ji. He's the main character of Tekken 5. He must win. Especially against a Jack. Seven beautiful letters to finish off the Jack there. And they brought that back from Tekken 4. For we are at stage 4, and we have beef. Beef! Suma,約束が果たせない。事情が変わった。な?ナボダ、カガンのミラと言ったのんが? It's on, the rivals once again square off in Tekken 5. We've already used Huarang in such an occasion, but now it's time for Jin. Demon's Paw remains one of the best moves for Kazuma Jin. You also have this move right here. A lot of buttons and notations that start with back forward. Back forward, 2-1-2! Two, two. 
That finishes off fighting in that exchange. Another look at it. He was sandwiched at the wall, too. The wall that's on fire! And just like that, Huarang is down a round. Jin also has access to his own version of the Hell Sweep. But as you can see right there, it's very, very punishable. On block, it is brutally bad. Almost as bad as the uh, Dragon Tail from Martial Law. So don't use it often. Be very selective with it. But if you do manage to hit it, you can follow it up with that move right there. The 4-3. It's gotta be a buffer situation. You hit the four first, and then you buffer in the three. So this is where Roger Jr. and Moku Jin got it from. I'll be back, says the intellectual metrosexual. Get your ass back here, Kazama Jin. But he's not Get going to. Stage 5 is the Stevo. Round one. Def Jam stage. Fight. Very appropriate. But, <laughs> ah, ah, Why you throw me? Ow. Why you do stun gun? I didn't do anything. What's your beef, man? Kick him in the nuts. Of course, Jin Kazama can do that here in Tekken 5. Yes, and that time it finishes off Stevo. We're up around after Stevo threw us in the early going. Ah! There we go. There's the comeback. There's a combo. And then, oh! Yes. Okay, I had to wait a little bit so I could time it perfectly. I attempted to go from Jin's version of the Doria, but that's okay. One, two, four. Finish things off. Alright, stage 6, we're getting closer. So we're in control of Kazama Jin, so it's safe to say that we won't be fighting Devil Jin in stage 8 here either. But then again, stranger things have happened, am I right? I mean, look at 2020. We'll see what happens. Okay, so Yoshi... I'm gonna hit him with... Kick him in the nuts. Kick him in the nuts. Oh boy. No. Okay. Yes. The demon uppercut. Demon's paw, sorry. <laughs> the uppercut is actually a Doria. Ugh. Can I do it one time, please? Ow. Okay, if I lose this round, it's because I, I stupidly played that right there. When he was twirling his blade at me. You're not supposed to go after Yoshimitsu there, it's unblockable. Yes. Some two ones to finish off Yoshimitsu on the safe side. I interrupted him with the one before he died. You win. And the intellectual metrosexual maintains Zen through it all. We have the Phoenix in stage seven, so this means there's gonna be something cool happening in stage eight. I just know it. But who's the opponent gonna be? Let's finish off the Phoenix and find out. Kick him in the nuts. 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 Ow! What is that? I. Yes. Okay. Two one there. It turned out to be a little risky because he was going for something else, but I win. Uh. Oh damn it. He countered my hop kick with a hop kick of his own. Yes. Combos. Yeah! And tackle him because he decided to get on a knee instead of falling on his back. Phoenix has been neutralized. You win. You do and the intellectual metrosexual still asks for forgiveness. Oh, Ganryu, you really? No cutscene at stage eight. Round one. Boo. Fight. Kick him in the nuts. At least we could do that. So it may have sucked so far. We didn't get that many uh, cutscenes yet. But something tells me there's gonna be something brilliant happening right here in the next stage as soon as we take care of the Samoan Rasp. Samoan Sumo! He's not Samoan! 
Forgive me, people. He is a Rikishi in terms of rank, but he's not Samoan. Okay. There we go. We got that out of the way. Demons fall. Come on. I could duck those, you know. I could have finished it off with that combination a couple of seconds earlier, but that's all right. We still finish off the magnificent combo. You win. And we're at the final stage. This is it. Ready for the next. It's still Mishima Jinpachi. Sama, Darajo. It's your great grandson. Yes, I do. It's all fight. Kick him in the knees. Ah! Shoot. Kick him in the nuts. Oh shoot. Damn it. Round two. Fight. Yes, I kicked him in the nuts. Yeah, one He's more round. round. Fight. Kick him in the nuts. Done it. Jean Gazama, the intellectual metrosexual, has won the King of Iron Fist Tournament 5. Sensitive is right. This is not widescreen, so I let it play. Gazama Jin, your winner. Meanwhile, at the Mishima Zaibatsu throne room. Now this is interesting here. Am I the only one who thought this? Coming up. Right here in a few seconds. On top of that throne. Did it look like Edna Mode to any of you two? I honestly thought it was a podium when I first saw it and there was some chick with some glasses back there. <laughs> but it's part of the throne. Like Edna Mode! The takeover begins for Jin Kazuma in Tekken 6. But that's another game down the line. For now, it is Jin Kazuma's story battle here in Tekken 5. I am Aeronetic. There will be more story battle here soon. See ya!